All right, folks, so plans kind of changed today. I was supposed to do a football game, but I'm the, the eyes are acting up right now, so I don't want to be driving right now. So I'm trying to relax, sit back, not really run around, but I can sit down and start setting up this network. Um, the rack is supposed to be here, but um, what I didn't show you when I was doing the install in Charlotte, Charlottesville, I actually installed everything in the rack and then I didn't think, oh, this is heavy to try and hang this, <laughs> find a hole so I can place it and mount it on the wall. So I don't really need to put this in the rack, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna configure the all of the equipment, the um, USG setup, yeah, that's it, the USG setup, the network switches, the cameras, um, the Wi-Fi, all that stuff set up and then I have the streaming system and now that I have all this and since we're gonna be the main show in town for their internet their church I'm gonna establish all of the IPs for the cameras um, the PTZs everything because I like to put those to be static IPs so I don't have to worry about them I know which one is which um, and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and I'm gonna set the camera up we're gonna do a time lapse and then after that We'll walk you through how we're going to configure everything. Almost everything pretty much set up I have three more PTZs that are supposed to be delivered today um, the hard drive for the USG is also supposed to be here today so there's a bunch of other things that I need to do but I have enough put together for me to start configuring the USG in the whole network establishing a Wi-Fi and all that other cool stuff so let's go ahead and I need to make a cable real quick um, to reach over here and I'm going to connect my computer directly to this so that we can jump in and see how everything is set up. All right, folks. So we are here on our desktop and let me clear it off. So we actually have some good space. Let's yeah, let's just use the main desktop. How about that? All right, let's open up a new one. All right. And if we go to unify and that, there we go. All right, so here we go. So we're on the new one. So let's walk through this whole setup here. Um, all right, so we gave it a name. So let's go ahead and go next. All right, so we need to add our two-factor authentication here. All right, boom, there we go. All right, so how often do we want to do an update schedule? I'm going to say weekly on a Monday at 3 a.m., I think that'd be good. All right, let's go next. Do we want to auto optimize? I'm gonna say yes. I don't want to send diagnostics. All right, so I am connected to my network. So this UDM is connected to my UDM. So that's how we're getting the network connection, which I think is strange. I guess my low, um, image down, well, you can't see it anyway, so. All right, so we're doing our test here. And again, we're going to do this test again once we get there at the church. Let's go ahead next. Um, yes, it is referenced under my account. I'm going to change the address and everything. So we're good. All right. So let's get set up. Now, again, I do not have my um, the hard drive. The hard drive should be here. I think I might have I might keep in where I had a knock at the door and I had something delivered. Um, so I'm going to see. Maybe, maybe all the rest of the stuff got delivered. Um, the main thing is those are the extra products that are going to, into this install. The rest of the cameras, our rack, where all this equipment is going to go. All right, so right now it, says, it still says it's out for delivery. So, oh well, let's finish what we got. So we'll come back to the Unify Pro stuff when I have... Um, unif yeah, Unify Protect, excuse me, when that's there. So let's go ahead and set up our stuff. 
let's go into the network here and let's start picking up some hardware. So the first thing is I am using a um, SFP fiber or, or copper connection between the 24 port switch and the UDM. So there is a known issue with that. So right now, this is where I'm connected to. Yeah, I'm on the bottom one here. So we need to come in here and override this. And because the auto, ne auto negotiation is not working, so I need to force it to one gig. And once I do that, it should pick up the hardware. All right, I see it's on. Um, the switch is on now. And as you see, boom, now our POE switch is now being detected. Um, so we're going to go ahead and adopt this. And everything else is built off of this. And as you see, other things are starting to fill out. So we're going to go ahead and adopt this. And this main switch is going to be in the closet that's locked up somewhere. All right. And we have our, our nanos here. We're going to uh, adopt those both as well, too, for the Wi-Fi. And then once this is detected, the 24-port switch, it should pick up the 16-port POE switch that is going to reside inside of the media booth area. So I might need to restart this because it was picking up my original switch, my Unify um, UDM Pro, but I need to make sure it doesn't pick that up. And as you can see, we're on the network, so it is getting internet. All right, so if we go to clients, it's picking up my computer, which I'm on. So cool. Uptime, 352 days. You're just on. So that's weird. Anyway, um, let's come back here to devices. And I don't know if it's doing an update or what I think it is. Because we're going to hard code all this stuff. So while that's happening, let's go to our settings here and let's start setting up some stuff. So we're going to do. Um, I don't know. I keep I'm sorry. I keep messing this up. I think it's. Methodist and not missionary. So if I said method um, missionary, I am sorry. Let's just do. Let's just do that <laughs> for right now until I make sure. So my apologies if I was calling it the wrong name. Um, advanced features. Let's check that off. Um, all right, let's apply. And let's go through and we're going to set up our Wi-Fi. So we're going to do CIMC security. This is going to be for everybody else. Um, excuse me. This is going to be for staff, media, and things like that. Um, and we will make something unique for them here. Let's paste that. Boom. We're also going to make another one that's going to be wireless for everyone. And we're going to put a time schedule on this, apply guest policies. This is going to be open for right now and put it on a time schedule. So we'll come back and adjust all of that stuff. We're going to actually put it on a VLAN and make it completely separate and all this other cool stuff. All right. Now let's go to our networks. We got our stuff here. Let's create a new network. This is going to be a guest. Let's call it guest. Our VLAN, let's give it VLAN 30. Let's put it on. <coughs> excuse me. Let's put it on 10.10.10.10. Um, yeah, let's do that. All right. So we got that here. We got. We're updating our ranges. All right. 
And I think we're good here. Let's go ahead and save that. Oh, I had the wrong one. I need to put a one right here. There we go. Now let's save it. There we go. Let's go back to our wireless, go to our wireless network, and we're going to say use VLAN 30. So now if anybody connects to this, they're going to get that IP address range so that they actually will never be able to see anything else that stays here. So now we could make something else. I don't think I need to. I was thinking about doing something different for security and yeah, I think I will do that. Let's make another network just for security. Um, and honestly, I don't think I need to do that, but let's just make one anyway, security. Camera network, do a VLAN for that. We'll do that 70. This will be, I don't know, 192.168.100.1.24. So that's 70, save, and boom. So we're gonna force the connections for our cameras onto this. Um, routing, firewall, threat management. We're gonna obviously turn this on. And it looks like this needs to be updated as well too. Um, Cause this is the old interface, which I like. Um, easier to get to everything, but we'll make it later. Um, group, we're going to do this as guests so that we can limit their speed so that everybody's not just pulling everything when they're trying to um, use the Wi-Fi in some way, shape, or form. And I'm wondering if that email was the fact of my package. No, it wasn't. So I'm still haven't gotten everything else. So let's just right now limit this to download speed of um, two megabytes and then upload. I would say this is at, I don't know, 500. So let's just say that for right now. Cause I don't know what the speed is going to be. Um, now, if we go back to our networks, we need to point it to that group. in what they're being restricted. And I keep forgetting which one that goes to. Yeah, here you go, user group, yes. All right, and we're gonna schedule this so it's on for a certain period of time. So we'll come back and adjust this because um, we don't want this to be on because people can just sit in the parking lot and get Wi-Fi or we can just put a password on it and they have to share that with the members when they join. Either one of those will work. Um, guest control, we can turn on a portal if we want to. We're not going to do that. I'll wait for them to let me know if I need to do that. Services, user groups, we did controller. Um, do it that. Um, I will add a Google Maps um, API key. I need to pull one to do this. And I can hook it up to maybe my company's um, cloud email. So I'll get notifications if there's anything that happens with that. I'll come back and do that later. User interface, all of this is gonna change anyway. And yeah. All right, so we're good so far. Let's go back, and after we gave enough time, all right, so yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to force these to be reset because I think what happened is by it picking up my old network, that's why it's pointing to this. So let me, yeah, let me go ahead and reset these and reboot all of these and force a reset, and then we'll readopt them. All right, so as you can see, we restarted it and the PoE switch actually um, connected. The nanos are still um, not connecting, so I'm gonna either have to force it to send a new IP address to it, or I'm just gonna have to reset that. Most likely it'll be reset. But let's go in here and um, let's put this on our network because we're gonna configure these since we can do this now. All right, I want this at a static IP address, so we're gonna put this as two. 255, 255, 255, 0. The gateway, 192, 
one. And I'm tripping. It's one one. And the DNS one on two one six eight dot one dot one. All right, we'll queue those changes, apply, let that provision, and then we're gonna go over here and reset the um the nanos so that they can show up as well too. And we should be picking up the switch, which I'm surprised is not showing up here. All right, so we're now at the correct IP address here. We can see that these are pulling power. All right, so all that is good. And yeah, let's, let's go ahead and reset the that's strange because this is the access point. So I don't know, maybe we need to update the firmware because that is a newer device. Um, let me, let's go back to the portal. Let's go to our settings and let's check for update. And I think we are seven, one, seven, one. Yeah, there's an update available. So let me reset those and I'm going to kick off this, um, right after that. All right. Everything is rebooting over there. So let's go back over to the network and again all the other apps are not showing because we don't have a hard drive to install the other software a hard drive is required so we are seeing some stuff showing up here let's go over here to our devices and our access points are there i think similarly once they get a new ip address everything should move over i think the 16 port poe switch is not showing up because I think um, it needs that to be newer. That's what I honestly think. Um, all right, so this one picked up. So just give a second. That was after the other one reset and boom, it's there. We're actually gonna make this um, four and five. Why are they getting the same IP address? So anyway, while this is a Okay, they moved that one to a new IP address, so that's cool. All right, so both of these are connected now. Let's go ahead and set this to a static IP. So this is going to be 1.4, 255.255.255.0, 1 and 2, 168, 1, 1, 1 and 2, 168, 1, 1. All right, so that is 4. Now we're gonna come over to the other one, do the same thing. We're gonna make this five. All right, there we go. So we just let those provision and then once I see that they've been provisioned and they show up, that is when I will go ahead and um, try and do the reset. I mean, excuse me, the update of the UDM Pro. All right. Okay, that's it's still provisioning. All right, so let's see what else shows up on here. So, all the cameras are being detected, so that's cool. So what I need to do is I'm gonna set these to our extra network, hopefully. Um, if that does not work, I'll just delete that security. Actually, I'm, I am gonna do that. I'm gonna get rid of the security one and just put it on this network. Let's delete that. And we're just gonna set these um, cameras to a specific IP address range. And something happened. I just got kicked off here. It might have actually forced that update on me without me having to actually do anything. Let's log back in here. Nah, it's still there. Hmm. 
switched over to a dark theme without me saying anything. Now, the UDM Pro needs an update, but then the apps have an update as well, too. So maybe it did the app update there. But anyway, let's go over here, and we're going to put all these cameras in a range. So we have all the six cameras that we're going to have set up. And I'm going to do these in a range of, yeah, might as well just do them at 150. How about that? No, let's do 190. Let's do there. So let's go in here. And I'm going to give these a name once I get into it. So I'm going to say this one is 90. Four and last one. Ninety five. One ninety five. Did I mess that up? Yeah, I did. One ninety four. Just that quick. I messed my numbers up. Yeah, that one was right, <laughs> but I ended up dropping the 100 from all the rest of them. All right, so we're gonna force a restart on these as well too. We can go back to our main POE switch for this. And So we're just going to go restart, 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 restart. And last one. All right. So by resetting those, uh, that's a camera. So those tones are all cameras. So we've reset all of those. We see our IP addresses are here, are right. And after we restart this, it should give us our option. Let's see. Yep, and the software updated because the whole control changed. So I want to get my refresh button. That'll be on the user interface. Oh, well, I don't know where it moved to. So anyway, the good thing we got all that stuff set up because I, I still think it's easier to do it from there. Um, oh, I must have hit the reset for the nano. That's why I was doing it. All right. We go back here to clients. And our IP addresses are still not updated. Oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that. All right, so now let's go back over here to our local portal and let's push the update for the, man, that's actually 193. I was really off. Let's go ahead and confirm that and then let that do its thing. And I'm going to check to see if Amazon has delivered this hard drive because then we can do all the Unify um, Protect stuff as well too. All right, so we have the latest version of the software now. Let's go and see, do we have everything? Let's go to our updates. 
So actually, Unify Protect actually did start. I'm wondering. Oh, so it, there is an update for everything. So let's run that again. Now, the good thing is with the UDM Pro, like I said, it does have door access and talk. I do have a phone with them that I played around with it while I was in beta. Um, and nerd um, thing for you is when actually I plan on getting the door access um, when I get a house and get out of this apartment. So that way, me playing around with this, so like the server room that I have all this equipment, the delicate stuff, really don't want anybody to touch. That's what I'm going to use to lock that down. And I think that would be cool to actually just have it to demo and stuff like that. So let's let this finish up and then we'll come back and try and set up everything else once everything is updated. All right, we're finally updated. So let's head back over here to our network. Do we see our 16 port POE switch? There you go. Yay, so it is there. And it's being detected, so cool. Let's adopt it. And we're gonna set this at three. So the numbers are lining up. All right, so our stuff is there. Need my phone here to see if we can pick up the Wi-Fi. All right, so we're looking here on my phone and I wanna see, do our, does our Wi-Fi show up? Oh, and no, it wouldn't because AJ, you're updating that we have right here. So that's why it's not showing. So the good thing is it is, it is detected. It is on our network. All that is cool. So while it's doing that, let's go over here to our settings here and let's see. We see all our cameras are on the right IP addresses that we modified to. So that's our security cameras. So we're cool with that. Um, we're really just waiting for the, the switch to get updated. And then we're going to start, um, connecting our, um, yeah, connecting our PTZ camera. Sorry. <laughs> I was stuttering cause I was like, wait a minute. I'm making sure something wasn't installed. I'm um, also the streaming PC. I'm using the ethernet cable right now to get to this. And maybe now that I'm on the network and it's under my account, I'm going to disconnect this USB dongle from my system and I'm going to connect it to the streaming PC and I can get that configured as well too. All right. So we're switched over here. Um, and I'm back on my regular network. So what we're going to do is we see this pop up because protect actually got installed. I'm thinking that it, the app is installed on the internal storage, but recording and video and stuff like that, I need the external drive. So let's go ahead and add the cameras to protect and we'll come back and name all of these. So, so we're just going to add these now. And I really like the dome camera. This is the first time I've really messed with the domes and you hear, I don't know if you heard the chime, but they went off. So that's good. We'll come back to this and the cameras are updating. Let's go back to our network. Now we're going to go to our devices and boom, everything is here. Let's go ahead and change our POE, our 16 port. And we're going to change that to a static IP address of three. Oops. All right, we updated that. So we got one gig speed. Now, technically, could I have just ran a, um, well, Originally, I had a 100-foot um, fiber that I was going to use because I was going to get the original rack-mounted 16-port um, PoE switch, but it was out of stock, and this one, the light, is in the, um, was in the same price. So that's why we went with that. Um, let's, we'll come back and do the update for the switch. We just want to move forward and get everything else done. 
So right now we have our system here. So this is mine. It actually should have been off because I'm not connected there anymore. But this is going to be the streaming PC. So let's give that one a name. And I need to change the Windows name on there as well, too. We're going to set this to a static IP address as well, too. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the 50 range. Let's do 40. So we'll do that as 40. All right. So that's good. Now we need to see, we need to start picking up the cameras um, that are going to be on this network. And I might need to connect back to it again um, because of the the camera control. So I might need to need to copy over the camera control to get the PTZs on their network because that software needs to reside on the computer anyway. So yeah, let's do that. Alrighty, we got our stuff set up here. These are our PTZ cameras that are being detected. I don't know why it's not giving a proper IP address, but I know they are working. So let's go ahead and I don't know which one is which. I actually set it inside the app. So as long as it's being connected, um, it should be fine. Let's look at the device because this is on the 16 port. And those are the connections there. So we're getting power. It's being detected. So that's cool. All right. We got everything set up from a networking standpoint. Now let's jump over to Unify Protect and let's see what's going on over here. These are smart detecting, um, smart detection cameras as well too, similar to what we did in Charlottesville. So we're gonna agree to that. These will intelligently detect people and cars. These cameras are gonna be all internal. So obviously it's not gonna be detecting no cars. Um, it's just gonna be persons. All right, so that is cool. We got all our cameras here. Um, let's look at a view here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So cameras are all over the place. You see my kitchen <laughs> and stuff like that. So this is cool. We're going to come back, add users to this and everything. So as of right now, believe we got everything set up the way we really want it to be. We're going to dial this all in when we get the hard drive and everything like that. Um, add users and things like that that we talked about, but and set it to the address and all the other things like that. But that is the networking component of a uh, community independent Methodist church that we're going to be installing. Um, really cool. Really excited. Um, next thing we got now that this is set up, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run. We have three more PTZs that are going to come in. I'm going to do the exact same thing, put them on a IP address. And then also once I find out which one is which, pray, probably map it to its MAC address. I'm going to set it to a hard IP address as well inside of this, just like we did with the computers and just add three more cameras and that's it. So the whole network is done. Um, we just have to go from there. All right. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Also, let me know if you have any other questions. Cause like I said, this is a big project and I'm doing these in chunks of videos and there's going to be a playlist for all of this stuff here, um, where we're following the design that we did when we walked through the church. So, Again, this was the networking component, um, as well as the security cameras. We're going to start doing the PTZ camera setup when we do the installs, the wiring. I also have another video or for the video distribution with the Ori matrix. We're going to bring that in as well too. So this whole playlist is going to be for this project that we're doing. So thank you so much for watching folks. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video later.